It's completely recalibrated my understanding of what is down at the bottom of the planet. My biggest impression has been just how vast it is. And the other thing was the amount of life that fringes the continent. So much bird life, so much life in the sea. You tend to think of it as a white desert down there, but yeah, it was incredibly rich. And the goal was to show the polar summer in a, in a way that never has never been seen before. I took two cameras, time-lapse cameras down there. So I had one camera that looked out towards the ice sheet the sea ice in East Bay and to the plateau in the distance. The other view looked across onto the station so you could see people moving around. It's characterised by periods of the vision of the camera being obscured by blizzards and snow and then these pristine days where you've got blue skies and you're just watching the shadows, you know, the sun basically moving around the horizon and dipping below the plateau. It's a remarkable opportunity, a real privilege to be part of the national program and to go south.